Hello there, everyone. This is Quiversy, and welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Last time we made it here to the Pokemon League itself, and all that remains is the Elite Four Challenge. As I mentioned at the end of the last part, this is a point of no return. I'm going to try and go through this, but if I lose, that's game over, and I will be stopping it as such. Now, I have done some training. As you can see, I feel like this is about where I need to be. I don't really know what the level range is for all the members of the league, but I do know that each member gets progressively stronger, and I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing Pokemon in the 60s by the end. Plus, I also know that the champion this gen is an absolute nightmare. But, do a brief rundown. Here's where Brava is standing. I've given her the King's Rock, just for some flinch chance. Very good attack, decent speed, and a bit more defense than I expected, but very bad special defense. Move set unchanged. Next up, we got Spitfire. I've decided to give him the Shell Bell. Overall, pretty decent stats across the board, except for speed. And I changed out Signal Beam for Ice Beam. He actually learned it by leveling up, so I didn't have to use my TM for it. But I think this will give me some slightly better coverage. Next, Simpath, who I have given the Razor Claw to, since he's got some high crit ratio moves. Figured, why not boost that crit ratio even more? Very strong, very good special defense, and respectful physical defense as well. Still wish he was a little bit faster, but what are you going to do? Moves completely unchanged. Next is Spook. He is still holding the spell tag. He is still a lightning fast special nuker with better defenses than I was expecting at this point, and the same move set as always. Next, we got Lumen the Jolteon. I have given him the Light Clay, which powers up um, Light Screen and Reflect by making them last longer. Kind of similar to Spook with uh, slightly less physical attack, but a good chunk more speed and special defense at the cost of less physical defense. And I decided to take out a uh, hidden power for Magnet Rise. I got that from the Move Tutor up in Snowpoint City. The reason for this is because I don't know what Hidden, Point, Hidden Power's strength is. It, it's variable strength, but it's bug type, which doesn't really help too, too much. Mm, you know, most situations, if Shadow Ball and Thunderbolt aren't going to cut it, I'm going to want someone else anyway. Magnet Rise, meanwhile, gives me an out for his one and only weakness of ground type moves. And I know to expect some ground type moves in here. Next, we've got Agnesia the Steelix, who I have actually given the Nevermelt Ice to. As per usual, she is the Iron Wall. And her moveset is also unchanged from before. The Nevermelt Ice is only there to power up Ice Fang, since it's not the highest power in the world. And I would like to make sure that it can hit just a little bit harder. So that's where we stand. I'm going to be leading with Brava because of the Intimidate. Let's do it. I was wondering about you. Hold it. Don't go off without me. You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here, too. Let's see who's more worthy of making the challenge with a battle. The one time that you are actually late and take more time. Oh, my lord. Squirrel. Squirrel never change. Looks like we're having ourselves a bird off at the start. Um, Hate to say this, Squirrel. I think my bird's a little more qualified for this than yours. Uh, let's just go straight with the return. I don't think his bird can kill Brava. Not even with close combat. Return would hit harder than close combat. Exhibit A. Alright, um, uh... Yeah, let's just do another return. You lowered your defense, so Aerial Ace probably would kill, but I'm not one for taking chances. Heracross. Sticking Brava. Yes, I know Brava's attack was dropped by Intimidate. I don't care. Fly. Cute. Die. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. Next. Rapid Dash. Alrighty, time for the first switch. D -d 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 Spit fire. Get in here and douse this horse. 
And yeah, you can probably see I've gotten some more seals because this took me a couple of days worth of uh, of doing stuff. Huh. Didn't expect you to use bounce. Okay. That's a flying type move. Has a chance to paralyze. Not too terrifying. That being said, I really like bounce. Bounce is a move that like... It takes two turns. It doesn't have 100 accuracy. Its power is okay. It has a chance to paralyze. But I like it because a lot of things can learn it that you wouldn't expect to be able to learn a flying type move. But at the, at the same time, it makes sense for most of them, like Rapid Dash. You know, think of a horse bounding and jumping. It's one of my favorite flying type moves, just because it's so weird. Anyways, moving on to a Rosa Raid. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go to Brava. I would rather not risk Spitfire... Uh, to try and go for the flamethrower. Lowering your physical attack. Not that that matters. Fly! Oh, trying to put me to sleep, are you? Well, guess what? You did. Next. Ah, we're moving on to Empoleon. Uh, Lumen, you get this. You one-shot Empoleon before. I know you're capable of doing it again. Thunderbolt. Not wasting any time. Just go for the Thunderbolt. Dead Pengi. And we're ending on a Snorlax. I didn't expect a Snorlax. I'm going to use a Nixia. Snorlax are mostly physical. I was considering Spook because I know that he's probably going to use Rest on this thing. And I can eat its dreams. I fully believe in this last one. I have no reason to freak out. But I also know that Snorlax can learn moves like uh, Crunch. Which would be potentially fatal. So I'm just going to take my time with this thing. Oh, it has its own earthquakes. Okay, maybe I won't take as much time as I originally was planning. Oh. <laughs> Did less than I expected. And I wasn't expecting much. Well, let's see how my own Earthquake does. After a single curse. A lot. We're not finished yet. We'll get out of this spot because we're so tight. Oh, and the Snorlax goes sleepy by. But then I earthquake it again. And the health takes a million years because Snorlax are health sponges. I just gotta let that drain. And one more quake. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised he didn't teach it snore or sleep talk. Not like it would have mattered much anyway. Dead Snorlax. What just went down? My team still needs raising? Uh, yes. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League and I'm losing to you. Darn it! You watch though, I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League. Because I'm going to become the champion, the toughest trainer. Quiver, you better not lose to anyone before me. <laughs> no promises. Like, yeah, your team folded like wet tissue paper to my team. I am not expecting the same with the league. I am expecting to have some losses. But doggone it, I'm going to fight tooth and nail to prevent as many of them as I can. Here we go. Let me confirm that you are qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. So, let us examine the gym badges you gather from Sinnoh. Warburg City's Coal Badge. Eternity City's Forest Badge. Hardhome City's Relic Badge. Veilstone City's Cobble Badge, Astoria City's Fen Badge, Candlelight City's Mind Badge, 
Snow Point City's Icicle Badge, and Sunny Shore, Sunny Shore City's Beacon Badge. Blah. I did it. I said words. Very well. Trainer, you've been decollected all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory. With great pleasure. Here we go. Battle number one. Logs, rocks, grassy fields, bug types. The thing about the Elite Four is they're never going to copy a gym leader type. So this is bug types for sure. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean. And yet, they're beautiful, too. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. He wants to be perfect like bugs? That just makes me think of Cell from Dragon Ball. Okay, we're opening with Yan Mega. Quite the opening play. I don't actually know what Yen Mega's stronger stats are. I know that they're fast, but beyond that, I'm not certain. The only other thing I know is that it's an evolved form of Yanma, which requires ancient power. So Yen Mega could have ancient power, which would be bad for Brava. That being said, I'm confident in Brava's ability to take it down, so we're going to use Fly. Double Team. Okay, so that's your game. You're going to play Evasion Stat. Stra Wait, what? Oh, you've got speed boost. Okay, that's annoying. Luckily, I do have an answer for this. I just need to put Brava in a little bit of risk to pull it off. Air Slash. Okay. That shouldn't do too much. Remember I said about having a plan and that maybe not doing too much? Yeah, throw that out the water, please. That is not good. That is very not good. I don't have a good answer for this now. I mean, Onyxia, I guess? I can't believe I got crit one shot on the first attack. And now I'm down to five Pokemon for the entire league. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay, we got a hit. That's good. Please kill it. Thank you, Onyxia. At least you got a crit as well. Okay. Oh, jeez. Heracross and me without a... Mm. <sighs> Alright. I need to think of what I want to do here. <laughs> uh, Sympath would be a good one. Except for the fact that I'm not confident in his ability to outspeed it. Spook could be good. I think Spook's my best bet. If I can put it to sleep, I might be able to salvage something. All right. Okay, good. Hypnosis, straight away. That's what I needed. Sleepy Heracross. Spook, eat his dreams. Saved by the spook. Scissor. Okay. Spitfire is the obvious choice because fire. I think he can survive a hit from a scissor. I hope I uh, don't have my faith misplaced. See what happens. X-Scissor, that's the move that scares me the most. 
And it did considerably less than I was expecting. Quadruple strength. Dead scissor. Okay. Already starting to turn things around a little bit. Vespiquin. Uh, Vespiquin is more defensive than offensive, so I'm going to stick with Spitfire. Look at this big, beautiful bee. I, I may not be a fan of bees, but there's something about Vespiquin I absolutely love. Why well, I'm still upset I was never able to get a female combi, because that's the only way to get it. Yeah, I'm not too surprised that it managed to survive that. Attack order. Physical bug type move. Not that powerful. Yeah. Didn't even hit as hard as, um... Oh, uh, whatchamacallit. X-Scissor. I don't even think it has uh, as much strength. Dead Vespiquin. All right, what's your last mon? What is your last bug? Drapion, huh? Fun fact about Drapion, it ain't a bug type. We've seen Skaroopy before, it is a bug poison type. Drapion is the evolved form, and it's poison dark. It's not even a bug. Hey, I gotta give you credit for not being completely monotype. Anyways, poison plus dark equals only weak to ground. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious right now? <sighs> here, Onyxia. Just here. Don't you dare refreeze me. I'm not worried about you killing Onyxia. I'm just worried about you being annoying. There we go. That's going to be a dead Drapion. Holy moly. I did not expect that. It's not over yet. Illegal Elite 4 cannot give up. Oh, at least another Earthquake and Drapion's dead. Assuming I can get the dang attack to land. Ice Fang. Flinch chance, freeze chance, annoying chance. Earthquake, you're dead. Whew. One down. Four to go. I will now concede defeat. But I think you came to see how great Bug-type Pokemon can be. I hope you also realize what you're up against in the Pokemon League. Battling is a deep and complex affair. Uh, you can say that again. I lost to the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it! Back to training camp! Let's hear it from me! Uh, no, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. You're, you're omitting the champion in that count, Aaron. Okay. So, not the best. Losing Brava right off the bat. Not great. Not great at all. Uh, I'm not sure what's coming up next, though. Who is next? 